Pennsylvania at 700 North 1st Street, which probably has occupation going all the way back at least to 1804. There's possibly Native American material even buried beneath here. We won't probably know for at least one or two more Saturdays. We've right now just stripped off the sod, and in that process we've come up with some artifactual material. Everything we've found so far relates to the 20th century, or sometimes even the 21st century. We're going to keep working on this material. We'll sift some of it, but most of, most of it we're going to take off really rapidly. This has probably about a foot to two foot of dumped refuse. Once we get that material removed, we'll be getting down to 19th century and earlier. That's where we're going to be more careful and systematic. But right now we're trying to remove the fill that was dumped in here when the building was destroyed somewhere in the 1960s or 70s. I'm Professor Michael Fuller from St. Louis Community College. The 30th of April, year 2011. The Archaeological Field School Methods class is doing a dig here in downtown St. Louis at Cleats Landing. We just opened up two excavation units, two and a half by two and a half meters in dimension, side by side. We're going to take these down today, hopefully around 20 to 30 centimeters. There's that much dumped fill here in this lot that we need to remove rapidly to begin to reach the level of 19th century occupation and maybe even Native American materials. We're about a quarter mile south, downstream along the Mississippi River from the St. Louis Mountain Group. And one of our research objectives in this excavation is to see if we can pick up any evidence for that Native American community that must have been here somewhere between 500 to 1,000 years ago. All these ones that are the cross corners. Okay. There will be uh, six of them in total. Okay. So that won't be it. We'll start there. So I'm doing the elevations for the start of today's excavation. Uh, we're recording things in meters above sea level, and each day as we continue to go down, we'll have a start and stop elevation for the excavation units. And if we find significant artifacts that need to be pinpointed, then we'll use the transit to shoot their elevation in. So right now the scope is set up at 132.75 meters above sea level and that'll be the metric measurement we use then as we calculate what's going on uh, in the excavations.
So I'm sifting dirt through quarter inch hardware cloth screen that's pretty typical for archaeology in North America. Uh, largely what we're coming up with is lots of rock, lots of uh, coal clinkers left over from fuel, lots of eroded and broken pieces of brick, all but very typical of the 20th century debris dumped into an old uh, building that's been uh, demolished. But at the same time, we found two coins, a penny and a dime, in the excavation squares. So we're sifting a small percentage of this upper soil just to get a sample of some of that material culture. Lots of broken glass, typical again of, of uh, beer bottles and other domestic uh, glass material. Uh, so far, no window glass, no flat glass, but that'll probably come up soon enough. Animals out of our excavation unit. 